We've got temperatures flirting with 90 degrees. If you're headed south, though, toward the Gulf Coast, temperatures will be in the low 80s, so it'll be a little bit cooler there. Once you go a bit further inland, though, it'll likely be hot, but at least right along the coast, forecast looks really good. Still watching this area here, which uh, is expected to develop and likely become a cyclone. The uh, National Hurricane Center says there may uh, be an aircraft to uh, head out and investigate that today, but they give it a pretty high chance at developing into a subtropical or tropical cyclone as we head over the next day or two, and then it'll give some rain and wind to the Bahamas and Florida, but it's going to be pulling away from us, so it's not going to be affecting our forecast. 90 tomorrow, near 90 on Sunday, and as the humidity starts to increase, we'll see a little better chance for maybe a couple of isolated thunderstorms on Sunday, but even then, we're still looking at only about a 20% chance. And the same today, too. A few isolated showers possible, especially in our far western counties. Uh, again, the same for Saturday day and Sunday, a little better chance for some showers and a few thunderstorms on Monday. Here's a look at WVTM 13 live Doppler. There might be a few sprinkles around, but I think more than anything, we're just seeing some clouds and probably a little moisture in some of those clouds. Overall, though, today looks to be mainly dry for the majority of us. Again, the western third of the state could see a spotty shower or thunderstorm. Otherwise, temperatures climbing into the upper 80s as we head into the afternoon hours near 90 on Saturday and Sunday. And then you'll notice as we head into Monday, that's when this next front is going to be approaching the area, and it looks like we'll see a little better chance for some widespread showers and maybe a few thunderstorms, and then temperatures back off quite a bit for the middle of next week. Rick? If I were your physician and this was your x-ray, I'd say, sir,